Last week, Mark Hobson from Somerset finally defeated the seemingly invincible Jez Chesters and brought his four-week reign living the Jet Set life to an end. But even as he and his wife Tracy settle into all that luxury in Bermuda, six more contestants are planning to grab that lifestyle for themselves. They are Louise Corbett, a staff trainer from Northumberland, BJ Chumber, a computer programmer from Shropshire, Julie Byford, a Royal Mail manager from Kent, Malcolm Webbin, a sales rep from Berkshire, Sarah Walker, an admin assistant from Lancashire, and Lee Jackson, a recruitment consultant from West Sussex. Any one of them could triumph and win the week of their dreams on the Jet Set. Saturday night, and from the BBC Television Centre in London, it's the National Lottery Jet Set, with this weekend's Thunderball, National Lottery, and Lottery Extra Draws, plus a chance to win a trip of a lifetime. Now, please welcome the man who can help you live that luxury life. It's Eamon Holmes. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much indeed. Good evening, welcome to Jet Set, the show that really does give you the chance to win your dreams. We've got three lottery draws coming up where you and your bank manager's wishes could come true. And on top of that, you get the chance to win a week living a life of total pleasure and indulgence. One of the world's top exotic destinations is waiting for this week's winner in seven dazzling days. They'll be able to satisfy all their heart's desires living as a superstar alongside the rich and famous. And the fantastic thing is, if you keep winning, you keep living the Jet Set life. Which is exactly what last week's winner, Mark Hobson, will be desperately hoping he does tonight. He and his wife, Tracy, have spent this week in seventh heaven. They're in Bermuda. That's where we cross now, live via satellite. Hello there, Mark and Tracy. Hello, Eamon. <laughs> I'm just trying to make out, Mark, if you've stopped shaking yet, because that was the main thing people remembered about you from last week. It was unbelievable. I was so nervous. Uh, I managed to calm down a couple of days afterwards, and I started a couple of days before today. So it's only been a, like one a day, one day, I think, where uh, we've not, I've not been shaking. Oh, well, goodness. Well, you'll find the heat will help thaw you out there. Well, what sort of temperature is it there, Tracy? Oh, it's in the 70s here, Raymond. It is gorgeous. It is really hot. Enough, enough. Now, I know you've had a lovely Valentine's Day, romantic time out there. You, you passed over Valentine's Day. So let's have a look at your jet set snaps. Sat here now in Bermuda, I still can't believe that I managed to do it. I mean, Jez has been on the programme for four weeks, and I, I think, along with an awful lot of people, wondered if he was ever going to get beaten. The fact that I managed it and that I did it, it's just absolute dream come true. I've never played golf before. It's an experience we've never ever done it before. A private lesson I was overlooking a, a, it's a crystal blue lagoon. The pro who was teaching us uh, was very patient with us, which is a good job, because we were hacking up half of his golf course. <laughs> I think we did all right for first timers. Fantastic. I don't think Tiger Woods has got anything to be worried about. The horse riding was once again fantastic. We, neither of us are, are particularly big horse riders. I think we've both done it once before in the past. Uh, and our horses are really sweet. A few years ago, as a Valentine's Day present for Tracy, I adopted a dolphin for her. And when we found out we were going to get a chance to swim with him, it was what we were looking forward to the most out of the entire week. <laughs> Tracy's always been absolutely mad on dolphins. Swimming with dolphins was the most spectacular, amazing feeling. They're very playful. They have a really sweet <laughs> habit of splashing you in the face as well. Oh, that looks brilliant. It's amazing. This time last year, we went for a Valentine's break to Sheffield, and because of a mistake at the hotel, we actually ended up missing our meal. And now we're sat here overlooking Bermuda Harbour. What can I say? 
every aspect of this holiday has just been how I imagine a millionaire should live. We're just desperate to carry on for as long as possible. Oh, looks brilliant. What a fight that. And, and you know, Mark and Tracy, the two of you look as though you were just born for it. You're naturals. <laughs> it's, it's just fantastic. We've slipped into the lifestyle so, so easily. It's yeah. almost difficult to remember what it's like in yeah. the UK, you know. Who's your friend in the, in the red shorts behind you there? Well, this has uh, been our, our, our butler all week. Oh. This is Bashara. Bashara. Um, Hello, Hello Bashara. Oh, good, good man. Oh, everybody's very friendly. Well, thank you, Mark, Tracy, and Bashara there. Mark and Tracy seem to have uh, settled into the jet set life very well indeed. But they're going to have to fight for it all over again tonight. And uh, if you're sitting there thinking, that's the life for me, 0900 111461. That's the number for you. Give us a call if you want to be a contestant. To hang on to his new life, Mark's going to have to defeat one of tonight's six. But what sort of fight has he got on his hands? Let's find out. Hello, Louise. Hi there. Hi. What do you need on your jet set lifestyle to make it complete? Well, Eamon, I think it would have to be my tweezers. I couldn't possibly uh, uh. live the jet set lifestyle with um, one continuous <laughs> eyebrow. Malcolm, where would you like to go? The world's your oyster. Well, I've never really been outside Europe, so anything further afield would be just fantastic. As usual, whoever does win gets to take someone uh, with them. Our six contestants tonight, they have got friends, boyfriends, girlfriends, husbands. Well, you would have a lot of friends, wouldn't you? Anyone who wants to be friendly with you, waiting there eagerly by the airport limo. Okay, raring to go. One of these six will be fighting Mark in our final to win the next week of luxury, but who will it be? The contest starts now as we play for the Jet Set. The first game is to stay out of the red. I'm going to give the contestants a question category which they can play or pass, get a question wrong or pass incorrectly. They're in the red. And if they're there at the end of the round, that will be the end of their dream of joining the jet set. Let's start the clock. Louise, it's you first. The category is geography. Do you want to play or pass? I'll play, Eamon. Which symbol, Louise, appears on the Canadian flag? Is it a leaf? Too late, Louise. It's a red maple leaf. Red light on you. VJ Television player pass. Play. Which actor plays Mike Baldwin in Coronation Street? Ah. Red passes to you. Johnny Briggs is the answer. Julie Nature player pass. I'll play, Ivan. Which birds famously live at the Tower of London? Rooks, Ivan. No ravens. Red on you. Malcolm, food and drink player pass. I'll pass to Sarah. Sarah, in cooking, olive, sesame and sunflower are all types of... Oil. They are. Red light on Malcolm. Sarah, film, play or pass? I'll play. Which British comedian starred in Mouse Hunt? Lee Evans. He did. Lee, science, play or pass? Pass to Louise. Louise, what is the Russian equivalent of the word astronaut? Cosmonauts, what you were looking for. VJ, celebrities, play or pass? Play. Who is Paul McCartney's famous fashion designer daughter? <laughs> you are out of time, much to the relief of Louise beside you. <laughs> Stella McCartney is what you were looking for, VJ. The departure gate's closed for you, VJ. Bye-bye. <laughs> Six have become five. We continue the game with Julie. Start the clock. The category is literature. Player pass, Julie. I'll pass to Sarah, please. Sarah, who wrote The Jungle Book? Rudyard Kipling. Correct. Red light on Julie. Malcolm Sport, player pass. I'll play. In which country was the jockey Frankie de Tori born? Italy. That's the right answer. Sarah, music, player pass. I'll play. Damon Albarn is the lead singer of which group? Blur. Yes. Lee Geography, player pass. I'll pass to Louise. Which is the second most populated city in the UK, Louise? Manchester. No, Birmingham. Red on you. Julie Theatre, player pass. I'll play. In which country did Kabuki Theatre originate? Kabuki Theatre. Australia. No, Japan. You're in the red. Malcolm, Nature, player pass. I'll pass to Sarah. Sarah. House, field and harvest are types of which animal? Mouse. That's the right answer. Red on Ma uh, Malcolm. Sarah, history player pass. I'll pass to Lee. Lee, who is the head of the Commonwealth? 
Chancellor of the Exchequer. No, it's the Queen. You're now in the red. Louise, celebrities, play or pass? I'll play, Amen. Which character is... I've got to finish the question for you. Get this right, your jet set life safe for a while yet. Get it wrong, you're out. Which character is Sasha Baron Cohen most famous for? It's Ali G. It is, Louise. Well done. Lee, we look the red light stead on you, my friend. Hey, we've had a great day, so... Well, you say goodbye to the luxury life, and we say goodbye to you, Lee. Two down, two to go. We continue the game with Julie. Start the clock. The category is art. Player pass, Julie. I'll play, Eamon. In which country was Vincent van Gogh born? Italy. No, Holland. You're in the red. Malcolm, literature. Player pass. I'll pass to Louise. Louise, who wrote Notes from a Big Country? <laughs> Bill Bryson's what you were looking for. You're in the red. Sarah, geography, player pass. I will pass to Louise. Louise, the official language of Ecuador. What is it? Ecuadorian. Spanish. <laughs> Julie, television, player pass. I'll play, Eamon. Who's the host of They Think It's All Over? I can't remember. Nick Hancock, you're in the red. Malcolm, sport, player pass. I'll play. What fabric is traditionally used to cover snooker tables? Bays. That's right. Sarah, film, play or pass? I'll play. Name the sequel to Silence of the Lambs. Hannibal. It is Hannibal. Louise, history, play or pass? I'll pass to Sarah. Sarah, what was the 50th state to become part of the USA? Gosh, uh, Texas. It was Hawaii. Julie, celebrities, play or pass? I'll pass to Malcolm. You pass to Malcolm. Malcolm, this to stay in the jet set or go out. Which actor is the brother of Shirley MacLaine? Warren Beatty. He is. The red light is on Julie. And that's the end of the road for you, Julie. Now three left. Only two can go through to the next round to see who will be taking on Mark. He's watching in Bermuda. Nice place to watch. We continue the game. With Malcolm, start the clock. The category is literature. Player pass, Malcolm. I'll pass to Louise. Louise, who wrote the novel Fever Pitch? I really don't know that one, Amy. Nick Hornby, you're in the red. Sarah, food and drink. Player pass. I'll play. The zest refers to which part of a citrus fruit? The skin. It does. Malcolm, geography. Player pass. I'll play. In which country would you find the Great Sandy Desert? Morocco. It's in Australia. You're in the red. Sarah, music player, pass. I'll play. What kind of musical instrument are snare and kettle? Drum. They are. Louise, history, player, pass. Pass to Sarah. Sarah, I'm looking for the patron saint of Scotland. St. Andrew. It is. Louise in the red. Malcolm, film, player, pass. I'll play. What was Whoopi Goldberg disguised as in Sister Act? A nun. That's right. Sarah, nature, player, pass. I'll play. The warthog is related to which farm animal? Pig. It is. Malcolm Geography, player pass. I'll pass to Sarah. Sarah, the capital of Iceland. Reykjavik. It is. Malcolm in the red. Sarah, your question. The category is literature, player pass. I'll pass to Louise. Louise, Rivals and Polo were best selling novels by which author? Was it Jackie Collins? No, it was Jilly Cooper. And you're in the red just at the end there, Louise. It threatened a few times, but now it's landed on you. Disappointed? Yes, I think my friend Kat will be as well. <laughs> yeah, well, the jet set's behind both of you, I'm afraid. The departure gate's closed. Bye-bye. But congratulations to Malcolm. Congratulations to Sarah. Through safely to the next round. The jet set life almost within their grasp. Two more rounds to decide just who will be flying off to tonight's destination. But before that, time for you at home to have uh, a chance to live your dreams because here's tonight's Thunderball Draw. <laughs> Wait, and it's time for tonight's Thunderbolt draw live on the National Lottery Jet Set. All under the watchful eye of Eamon Holmes. Oh, boys, this lot we've got in tonight. John Willen, draw master, please release those balls. And as the machine gets up to speed, let me remind you, you choose five from 34 in the first machine and just one from 14 Thunderballs in the second, and you can win anything from a fiver to a quarter of a million pounds. Eamon.
do you know, Alan? Last week, two people matched all five numbers plus the Thunderball, and that won them a quarter of a million pounds each. So good luck to you. Here comes the first of tonight's numbers. OK, to be in with a chance of winning a prize, you need at least one of the five numbers we're about to draw. First is number 30. And the next. Well, they are lively. Pity the balls aren't. Come on, you can do it. Well, can't really announce that one so easily. So we shall wait just a little longer and see if we can, in fact, draw a second Thunderball. Well, what we may have to do is inquire of the draw master. Here we go. It's going to try and make a, an attempt oh, hit. And up it comes, oh, yes. number three. Well worth the wait. There's another one, 31. Can't stop it now. 25. And then we need just one more from this machine. We've got the news coming up later. And a whole lot more besides. Uh, 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 uh. I've got this terrible feeling my mortgage is at risk. Well, it will probably do it again as it did before, so it's probably worth just hanging on to see if we can complete this part of the Thunderball. And what he does now is the selector goes down into the balls and then will draw the fifth one for us. And then we can move over to the other machine with which we'll have a lot more luck, hopefully. So there it is, and it's number six. Right, we move on now to the next machine. John, switch that one on, if yes. you would, please. Thank and then we can that. be about the business of selecting the Thunderballs. Yes. Wielding the clipboard in a very business-like manner tonight is our independent adjudicator, and that is Graham Klukas. Eamon. Well, it all adds the excitement, doesn't it, Alan? Yes. It does. Nice. We, we think this one's working. All we need now, of course, is the Thunderball. Remember, if you match any number plus the Thunderball, it boosts your prize. Fingers crossed. Here we go. Big cheer for this one. This is it then, the number that could make all the difference for you this Saturday night, and certainly make a difference for me this Saturday night. Down he goes, and up she comes. Number five. time in ascending order. Number three, number six, number 25, number 30, and number 31. The Thunderball this weekend is number five. Still to come tonight, the National Lottery, all being well, and Lottery Extra. Now let's find out which of tonight's studio contestants will take on Mark in tonight's Jet Set. Well, someone's going to be spending the next week in paradise having the time of their lives. Will it be Malcolm Webben from Berkshire? Will it be Sarah Walker from Lancashire? Or will it be Mark Hobson out there in Bermuda? Mark, uh, this is the position, of course, you were in this time last Saturday night. Uh, I reckon it's probably better to be that side of the studio than this side. Oh, it really is. I really feel for the two people that uh, still have to uh, play in the studio, Malcolm and Sarah. Good luck to both of them. Right, of course. Out by the limo, we've got Malcolm's girlfriend, Sean. We've got Sarah's boyfriend, Jeremy. Their pulses really starting to race and uh, getting ready to go to head off. Once again, I'm going to give Malcolm and Sarah a question category. They have to play or pass. They get a point if they answer a question correctly or if their opponent gets one wrong. The first of four points will go through to the head-to-head -head with Mark. So, let's play for the jet set. <laughs> Mark has uh, spent a week in Bermuda to decide who goes first between you two. All you've got to do for control of the game is to answer this. Bermuda is situated in which ocean? <coughs> Malcolm. The Caribbean? Malcolm, it's actually the Atlantic, so control goes to Sarah, okay? Here we go, Sarah, first of four, category for you is film. Do you want to play or pass? I'll play. Here's your question. Which actress starred as Erin Brockovich? Juliet Roberts. It was your one-up. Malcolm, sport, do you want to play or pass? I'll play. Who won the men's singles title at this year's Australian Tennis Open? Andre Agassi. You're right. Well done. One each. 
Sarah, science player pass. I'll play. Here's the question. What metal is mixed with zinc to produce brass? Get it right, it'll produce another point for you. Copper. You think copper is mixed with zinc to give you brass? You're right. 2-1. Well done. Malcolm, television player pass. I'll play. Who plays Dr. Sam Ryan in Silent Witness? Silent Witness, Dr. Sam Ryan. Demand somebody. Ryan. I'd love to give it to you, Malcolm. I need more. Amanda Redman. It's Amanda Burton, Malcolm. And that goes 3-1, Sarah. So close, Malcolm. Sarah, you're now one point away from the head-to-head -head with Mark, OK? The category is food and drink. Do you want to play this one, go it alone, or pass it back to Malcolm? I'll play. OK. What kind of pastry are profiteroles made from? Filo. Shoe, three, two. Malcolm, geography, to pull level, to get back into it. Do you want to play or pass? Geography, the category. I'll have to play. OK. The Atlas Mountains are on which continent? Well, it's a wild stab. I'd say South America. You stabbed wrongly. Sarah's through four, two. The answer was Africa. <laughs> Just got one more hill to climb. All that luxury could well be yours. How are you feeling? Oh, ecstatic. <laughs> oh, and look at that man beside you there, Malcolm. That's life. <gasps> That's life. I've, I've had a great time. Good luck to Sarah. Okay, good luck to her. And Mark, of course, you now know who you are up against, and she is a sharp cookie. She certainly is, yes. Um, I'm, I'm getting very nervous, actually. <laughs> Don't get nervous again. You got, you got so nervous last week. I think I need to try a little bit of the Bermudan rum, I think. That's what I need. <laughs> well, Tracy, you hold his hand for as long as you can there. Uh, and, of course, the thing... Yeah, you're doing a great job, and uh, you're enjoying Bermuda there. Well, what you don't know, and what Sarah doesn't know, of course, is uh, where we intend to send you for this week ahead. Well, from the peace and tranquility of Bermuda, we're going somewhere a little more lively. So far, we've traveled from London to Sydney, Las Vegas, the Caribbean, Aspen, and last week, Bermuda. Where next? The fabulous Buenos Aires. Set in the stunning landscape of Argentina, Buenos Aires is a South American city with a European heritage. It's sophisticated with elegant plazas. You can drink in the city and its wild nightlife or enjoy the incredible country around it. Join the gauchos on an Argentinian ranch. They'll show you the ropes. And by night, you can lose yourself in the tango heartbeat of this truly exotic Argentinian city. Buenos Aires! Buenos oh, Thank you. Either Sarah or Mark, they'll be jetting off to Buenos Aires right at the end of the show. We'll find out who it'll be in just uh, a few minutes. And you see all those guide shows, Sarah, and the horses. You're big into horses, aren't oh, you? Yeah, I love horses. But you've yeah. never been outside Europe? No, never. Yes. So it should be first. It'll be first, a while to go. What about Jeremy now? Jeremy's out there in the car. Just give him a wave. Hi. Yes. So Jeremy's getting all excited, isn't he? <laughs> now, before we find out who's going where, uh, we've got another couple of chances for you to win the Millionaire Life. Now, we don't want Mark in Bermuda, our Sarah here in the studio to see the balls drawn in the main lottery draw because the order they come out and plays a part in the end of our game and if you watch regularly you'll know that so what we've got to do is to put these blindfolds on I know you're not keen because she's got her hair all done specially to be here tonight and I'm probably messing it up so out there in uh, Bermuda the headphones and the blindfold goes on Mark as well Tracy you'll do the honours it'll be checked by a BBC producer now Tracy we've got to ask you to get offside there to uh, Stay away from Mark, he's on his own now, and for Mark, for Sarah, and maybe for you at home, the future lies in the balls. It's time for the National Lottery Draw and Lottery Extra. Very special guest tonight to start the lottery draw. A big round of applause, please, for our four times Jet Set champ, Jez Chester's his girlfriend, Laura. John, please um, release the balls. Fingers crossed for that. That's tonight's lottery draw underway.
Yes, the estimated prize fund tonight in the National Lottery draw, 21.3 million pounds. The estimated jackpot, 6.7 million. Uh, you lived the sort of life that money like that uh, can buy, but it was still hard when it came to an end, wasn't it? Probably the most difficult thing I did was coming back, but life goes on. Coming back in economy class, that's what he means, uh, after all he was yeah. used to. Yeah, OK. But maybe you can help someone at home when the Jet Set life starts. So all you've got to do is uh, press the button and pass on that good luck of yours, Jess. OK. Best of luck to everyone out there. And tonight we're using Vivian and Centivals number five, chosen earlier today by Debbie Hall from Hampshire. And the first one out, number 14. It emerged from Guinevere, all of six Wednesdays back, that 184th appearance if it's yours. Next. Number 40. That completed Millionaire's Row first, the Wednesday before last in Manchester, 80th outing for that one. Let's have a third one. It's going well so far. Number 10. Third number drawn midweek in Manchester, 80th time we've seen that one now. And the fourth. 45. Four draws in three weeks. Ain't bad, is it? 82nd lottery appearance. And the fifth. Nice pattern so far. 31. So we've got two runs from that the last month. 90th timeout. That's been busy. And the sixth one is 35. That's a drawn six centimeters back. Sarah Brightman started the draw. Then 72nd outing. And the bonus tonight, 26. This weekend's winning numbers again. Here they are in ascending order. Check these off. 10, 14, 31, 35, 40, and 45. The bonus is 26. Yeah, well, as Jez knows all too well, the order of those balls is so important when it comes to the end game. If you didn't win right now, here is another chance to change your life with Lottery Extra. <laughs> so, John, do your thing. Release the balls there for the extra draw. Round and round they go, don't forget, Lottery Extra is played for a jackpot only, which gets bigger each time it isn't won. So, uh, Eamon, how big is it now? Well, it's uh, 2.3 million pounds, oh. funny you should ask me that. Yes. Very good. Um, Laura, the honours go to you this time, and it's been an interesting sort of month, hasn't it? It's been an amazing experience, but uh, it's all back to reality now. Now, well, just before you go back to reality, just a wee bit more experience, <laughs> press that button, win somebody some money. There you uh, go. Good luck, everyone. And for tonight's Lottery Extra, we're using Merlin and a set of extra balls, number five, again chosen by Debbie Hall. So the first one, 35. Remember the rules are you need all six numbers in the next minute or so to have a stake in that 2.3 million pound jackpot. 11 is the second number. No winner tonight will have a bigger jackpot midweek in Manchester. Number four. Looking forward to getting back to Manchester. The next one is number one. Watching tonight's lottery extra draw, it is live on the BBC. Let's have another one. Number 12. As we said earlier, though, you need all six numbers to win. Here is that six number. 34. Those numbers again. Check these off if you want. Number one. Number four. Number 11. Number 12. Number 34. And 35. Let's rejoin Eamon to find out who will be flying to Buenos Aires, the next destination on our Jet Set World Tour. Well, it's all or nothing now for Mark, watching in Bermuda. Sarah, sitting here in the studio. Incidentally, 0900 1 if you would like to play for the Jet Set. That's the number to call. There it is on your screen. We would love to hear from you. Let's cut the music in the headphones. That'll be a blessing. There we go. Let's remove the uh, the blindfolds of well, both Mark and Sarah. Are you okay? Both okay? Mark and Mark, yes, he's, he's blinded by sunlight in there. And Sarah, of course, your whole family are in the pub tonight, but it's all <laughs> in a good cause. We're on the big screen, aren't we? You are, yeah, in the Albion at our side in Cumbria. Yeah. Hi, Hello, everyone. everybody. Yes, that's good. Good news there. Right. Mark, now we are worried about your nerves. They're becoming legendary. Are they settling down? Uh, a little bit. Not an awful lot, no. <laughs> OK. Too late now, my friend, because we've got two contestants, only one prize. It's as simple as that. This is a question and answer battle. The first to get to three points will win that week in Buenos Aires. So let's do it. Let's play. 
for the Jet Set. Now this is where the first six balls from tonight's National Lottery draw can make or break the chances of the players. First ball drawn tonight was 14. Sarah, you're the studio winner. Uh, you're going first. You've got to decide whether the next ball out was higher or lower. If you do that, you get to pick your own category. What do you think? Higher or lower than 14? Higher. She's going up from 14? 40. Okay. Safely done. Those are the categories we're playing with tonight. Music, art, food and drink, politics, sport, history. Choose one for yourself. Music, please. She's going for music. Okay. Here's your question. Who had a hit in 1974 with the song Jolene? Dolly Parton. Straight in there, one point. Well done. <laughs> Mark, we're with you. The ball sequence, 14, 40, higher or lower than 40? Can I say lower, please? He's going down from 40. Let's see. Down to ten. You've got it, Mark. Yes. And the categories, Mark. Choose one. Can I have politics, please? Politics, you certainly can. And the question is, can you tell me the name of the Prime Minister's press secretary? Tony Blair's press secretary. What is his name? I think it's Alistair Campbell. You think right? It's one apiece. Nothing between them. Let's have a look at the ball sequence. 14, 40, 10. Sarah, the choice is yours. Are you going up or are you going down? Higher, please. She's going up. 45, yes. Back to the category board. There. Choice is yours. Food and drink. Food and drink. Here's the question. Which fish is normally smoked to produce a kipper. Mackerel. It's herring. Herring, and the point goes to Mark. Mark, you're 2-1 up. You're beginning to shake again. Reminds us all of last Saturday night. You're now just one correct answer away from retaining the Jet Set lifestyle and going to Buenos Aires. 14, 40, 10, 45, higher or lower than 45? Can I go lower than 45, You can please? do what you want. He's going lower. Let's see. You've got the choice. 31. Okay. 31. Hold it together, Mark. Hold it together. You can win it with this. Just give me a category. Can I have sport, you please? You can. That's not a problem. Sport is his choice. And here is the question. This to retain the jet set lifestyle. At which British race course are the Oaks held each year? Which British race course are the Oaks held each year? I have no idea. Have a go. I think it's Cheltenham. It's Epsom. It's two apiece. Okay. That's the way it stands. Two apiece. Sarah, we're back with you. 14, 40, 10, 45, 31, higher or lower? Lower, please. Lower than 31. 35. We're back with you, Mark. You choose a category for her. It all rests on this. Can she have art, please? Right, art is the question. Here it goes. Sarah, which fountain in Rome was designed by Niccolo Salvi? Niccolo Salvi, a fountain in Rome designed by him. Trevi Fountain. You're saying? Trevi Fountain. Trevi Fountain. And that would have been for the Jet Set lifestyle, if it was right, and Mark would be going home. Mark, you're coming home, mate, because, Sarah, you've done it. The Jet Set Lifestyle is yours. Oh, my God. There he is. <laughs> Off you go. Get to the airport. <laughs> Mark, we've got to say goodbye. I'm sorry. You're coming home. Coming up next on BBC One, it's Casualty. We'll see you next Saturday night. Fasten your seatbelts for another Jet Set. Bye-bye.